Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm gonna try some weird face masks. I've got a uh, mask that makes you look like a robot. I've got a mask that bubbles up and makes you look like the elephant man. And I've got a plaster corset mask that is supposed to shrink the size of your face and firm and tone. Some I purchased, some were sent to me by the companies and I'll tell you which is which of course. So I'll give you uh, my impressions on what it was like to use it and what's in it. And if I think it's just a gimmick, or if it really can do something for your skin. So let's get started. The first one I wanted to talk about was the one that I thought was the most interesting, and it is by Eliza Vecca. It's called the Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. Now I picked this one up in a haul of K-Beauty stuff that I got a couple weeks ago. I purchased this on Yes Style. It was $26.90 for 20 mils, um, but on Amazon it's like nine or ten dollars. So I'll link both below. So the carbonated bubble clay mask is supposed to be a creamy clay mask that purges pores clean of excess sebum and trapped dirt with thousands of tiny bubbles diving deep into pores for a thorough clean. Now the main ingredients in this are water, clay, surficants, with which are soaps and foamers. There were five of those in there, including SLS. So those of you that are trying to go like sulfate free, you might want to avoid this one. Some of the other ingredients in here are green tea powder, glycerin, collagen, charcoal powder. Um, it does contain a paraben, some fragrance, uh, some botanical extracts and fragrances like lavender, bergamot, peppermint, rosemary, and chamomile. The texture in the jar on this is like pudding. It's a medium colored gray and it has a lot of big like bubbly kind of holes in it like it looks like Swiss cheese. The instructions are to apply to the face avoiding the eyes, leave it on for three to five minutes, then massage with warm water to remove it. It feels really cooling temperature wise on your face and you can hear the bubbles foaming and bursting. It's a really neat sensation but it doesn't feel tingly, it just feels cooling. It did foam up a lot but it was very very difficult to remove after the three to five minutes were up. I tried to do it here in front of my camera with a bowl of warm water and oh my gosh I was making such a mess all over the place that I went to the kitchen sink and washed it off that way. It was very tenacious. It was very difficult to get it off my skin. It took about 10 minutes of rinsing with warm water and rubbing and rubbing with the washcloth but I did finally get it off. After that when my skin was dry it definitely felt super tight um, super clean, but also a little bit drying around my lower face where I tend to be a little bit dry anyway. I'm surprising though, it was not irritating. My skin wasn't red or blotchy or upset looking. My pores definitely did look a little bit minimized and my skin felt really like silky smooth to the touch and very firm and very tight. And if you like a really squeaky clean feel, then this could be the mask for you because man does it clean your skin. It's definitely fun. It's definitely a cute gimmick. I think for oily or acne prone people who really want to clean out their pores, it could be great. For older people, people with dry skin or people without kind of pore issues, it may just have too many detergents in it to use on a regular basis. But for like, you know, a couple times, it really was fun and it really was cool and it makes a great social media post. So <laughs> that one was all right. All right, the next one that I tried was from Mira Clinic. This is the one that makes you look like a mummy. It's called the Surmage Corset Plaster Mask. It was $26.90 for one mask. I got it on Amazon. This one is supposed to improve elasticity, prevent moisture loss, and refine texture. It also, with the plaster corset, it's supposed to like lift and tighten. The main ingredients in this one are water and methylpropanidine glycerin, and niacinamide. Other ingredients are myrrh extract, shea butter, jojoba, and coconut oil, panthenol, vitamin E, vitamin C, and lactic acid. So I love it that it has niacinamide, glycerin, and a lot of things that I use in my everyday skincare. The instructions are to apply the ampoule dressing, that's the sheet mask, top section first. This sheet mask comes in two pieces, so the fit should be really good, but it's a very heavy kind of stiff fabric, and it was also kind of a rather large mask so it was like had a lot of extra around the hairlines and then the bottom section you pull the tabs up along the facial contour didn't feel like I got a great fit out of it then you place the plaster corset mask over the sheet mask you press the plaster mask into the sheet mask to moisten it it has to absorb 
the moisture out of the serum from the sheet mask and so from that standpoint I felt like it was pulling the serum away from my face which I didn't really love about it plus the sheet mask wasn't really like soaked in serum it was very slightly damp but not really as wet as I'm used to having a sheet mask be then you leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes and when the plaster is hardened you remove both masks removal is super easy they both come right off as you can see you get a 3d mold of your face it did leave a little bit of plaster behind on like my upper lip and around my nose it was fairly dry and sticky and a little bit tacky when I removed the mask there wasn't enough wetness left on the surface to actually rub in any serum which I usually like to take the extra serum from a sheet mask you know really rub it in and I didn't really feel like there was a big difference in the firmness or the tightness or the smoothness of my skin I mean it did look a little bit more moisturized and a little bit better than 30 minutes before this one definitely seemed like a gimmick to me and um, just not really worth the time or the effort so the next mask is a pore reducing mask this is the skin food egg white pore mask it retails for 2390 for 125 grams on yes style I also saw it on Amazon for $14 not sure if that was a smaller size container and then I saw it on Ulta for like $10 this is supposed to be a nourishing mask that minimizes pore size and tightens skin with its active ingredient of albumin rich egg whites that visibly diminish the appearance of large pores and refined skin texture the main ingredients in this one are water albumin titanium dioxide and glycerin so great stuff right at the top of the list then the other ingredients are clay um, some fatty alcohol some SD alcohol some olive fruit oil glycolic acid lactic acid and the instructions on this one were to apply to a clean face except around the eye and mouth areas wash off after 10 to 15 minutes with warm water the consistency of this is like spackle it was really easy to control where you put it it made a nice uniform thickness on the skin it was really like a pleasure to put it on as it dries over the 10 to 15 minutes it starts to feel really dry on the surface and it starts to get like cracked so then washing this one away with warm water was actually fairly easy it only took like three or four minutes of splashing and rubbing after I removed it and had my face dried and came back to check in oh my gosh my skin looked and felt so smooth and so tight but not in a dry tight way like that bubble mask had this just made it feel more like youthful and my pores look so minimized I absolutely love this one I am obsessed with this mask I'm definitely going to use it every time that I do a foundation Friday and I'm testing makeup and I need to go out in that bright sunlight that maybe I could actually minimize some of the texture going on here and not scare you guys with the bright sunshine shot so the skin food uh, egg white pore mask is a real winner so those were the three that I bought in my K beauty haul then the next three were sent to me by the companies but they're still kind of freaky weird masks so I thought I would include them here the first one is the Estee Lauder advanced night repair power foil mask it retails for $80 for four masks I'm not sure if you can buy them individually but it comes out to like $20 a mask this is a sheet mask that comes with a foil backing or a foil front the main ingredients in this are water and PEG 75 lanolin the other ingredients are algae extract mangosteen extract magnolia bark extract milk thistle purple coneflower extract lactobacillus ferment squalane caffeine vitamin E hyaluronic acid so all kinds of good stuff packed into this mask it's basically their advanced night repair serum in a mask form so the instructions are to apply it to clean skin once a week at night so you unfold and apply the top half first and then you put on the bottom half you leave it on for 10 minutes you remove it and then you massage the remaining serum into your skin this one was like the opposite of the max clinic where this one was drenched with serum even the foil side was really wet and so I like scraped all the serum off the foil and was rubbing it down my neck and on my chest and on my hands and that's really what I love in a sheet mask is for it to be really wet and I can really you know like slather myself up in the serum it definitely has like a woodsy smell it smells like you know mulch or wood shop which is actually kind of nice it's better for me than the standard Estee Lauder smell which I'm not a big fan of the mask had really good adherence and I especially felt like with the foil it helped it to really um, have a close fit to my face and that the foil helped the serum to not evaporate because I feel like when I use other masks and it's just the mask that the 
you know, it kind of evaporates while you're having it on, and then they're dry by the time you pull it off. This one stayed like soaking wet for the entire time that I had it on. I was sitting upright while I was wearing it, and it stayed on my face really well. It didn't feel like it was sliding off. I didn't feel like I had to adjust it every three seconds. It really um, stayed in contact, good contact with my skin. The removal, of course, is easy. You just peel it off, but you're left with so much serum on your face that I definitely felt like the foil kept it from evaporating. It definitely kept the serum in contact with your skin, so that it could absorb and there was so much on there that it took like another three or four minutes just to rub it all in. After rubbing it does give a little bit of a tacky feeling. It could be a little wasteful but I do like it that it was wet and that you really had to rub it in and then if you just go to bed then that's your moisturizer for the night. I was actually pretty pleased with this one. I'm not a huge fan of like Estee Lauder skincare. I don't really use that much of it mainly because of the perfume in it but I like the ingredients in this one. I did feel like it was moisturizing and I love the foil. I actually folded up the foil and put it back in the pow to use with other sheet masks. Like it peels right away from the mask and I feel like if I put on another sheet mask I might just stick that foil on top. So anyway the next two masks I have to show you are from a Paracone MD. These were both sent to me quite a while ago. Alright so the first one I'm going to talk about is the Chloroplasma mask. This one is $80 for two ounces. I have this little trial size. This was $20 I think on Sephora. This one is supposed to be a transformative treatment mask with the science of of phytonutrients. The main ingredients in this are water, glycerin, castor oil, and clay. The other ingredients are silicones, pigments, uh, eucalyptus oil, and there's a chlorophyll copper complex that's way low on the ingredient list. The instructions for this one are to deeply massage a liberal amount onto clean skin until all microcapsules are released and appear evenly deep green. Then after five to ten minutes rinse off with warm water. Unfortunately that didn't really happen on my face. I didn't rub it hard enough on my face. Like I felt like I really had to rub it hard to get those capsules to burst. Now I'm showing you this on my hand so I can show you that actually if you do burst the little capsules it will have the color change and it has a cooling sensation and it smells really minty like eucalyptus and really fresh. And then the other Dr. Paracone mask is this one Paracone MD a cocoa moisture mask. This one is normally $69 for two ounces. I just looked it up on Ulta though and it's $34.50 for some reason and I hope it'll be that price when I I'll put this video out on Friday still. This one is supposed to instantly nourish and hydrate, revealing youthful, supple looking skin, visibly improve skin texture for firmer, more toned appearance, leave skin looking radiant and luminous. I use the chocolate one on the bottom half of my face because this area tends to be a little bit dry and use the um, chloroplasma mask on the top half of my face. So the same application for this one as the other one. I had the same problems where, as you can see, rubbing it on my hand, I do rub hard enough to get the microbeads to burst, changing the color. I didn't get it to work on my face, so wah wah, kind of a fail there. The ingredients in the cocoa mask are water, cetyryl alcohol, a coconut glycerin triester, some emollients, some thickeners, a sweetener, some hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, squalane, zinc and copper gluconates, but this one smells like hot cocoa. This one is so chocolatey and delicious, and the combination of the two on my face, oh my gosh you guys, mint chocolate chip ice cream anyone? But it does remove easily with warm water. It took, you know, just a couple minutes of splashing to rinse it off. And it left my skin like fairly smooth looking, fairly firm and tight feeling, but it didn't feel dry at all. Just comparing the pores, I think that they look slightly minimized, but not nearly as much as with the egg white mask. The bottom half of my face, my skin definitely felt moisturized and it felt kind of plump and I can't say it looked a little firmer or it reduced any wrinkles, but if you like Dr. Paracone products, these are both reasonably good products. I feel like this is basically a clay mask with like the gimmick of the color change. So you could get a definitely a clay mask like cheaper with green clay that you could use. Um, this chocolatey mask, I haven't seen another like cocoa mask anywhere and this does have really nice ingredients in it. So um, you know if you have dry skin maybe this one for a moisturizing mask. But overall of the six masks that I tried for the pore minimizing mask I definitely liked the Skin Food Egg White Mask the best. I felt like this one was the easiest to use by far and had the best results. And then of the three moisturizing masks, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually like the Estee Lauder mask the best, the little Tin Man mask. 
I really loved how saturated the mask was with the serum. You really get a ton of serum in there and how well that foil works. Like it's kind of a gimmick, but it kind of really works too. It definitely moisturized my face. Did it remove all my wrinkles? No. But what mask is going to? Um, none. So that's it for the video for today, everybody. I had such a great time playing with these masks. So if there's a mask that you want to see me um, take a look at, give you the ingredients list, and let you know if it works or not, or if it does anything for your skin, please leave the name of the mask in the info box below. I will try to get my hands on it, and I would love to do another mask video. So if you like the mask video and you want to see more, please give the video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So thanks everybody for watching. You know, I always appreciate your time, and I will see you next time. So take care everybody. Bye-bye.